Forsaking God and running after the pleasures of the world is like throwing aside priceless diamonds and picking up useless stones. Please continue watching to find out more. One such great spiritual teacher is Sant Saint Dadu Dayal from the same tradition as Saint Kabir. He lived during the 16th century. Dadu means brother and Dayal is the compassionate one. Dadu first met his guru at the early age of 11 while playing with friends near a pond. He was initiated by this teacher into the everlasting knowledge of God. Dadu paid little attention to the external forms of worship, such as visits to temples and pilgrimages. Instead, he concentrated on Jap, repetition of divine names, as well as remembrance of the original divine source, and his inner connection and wholehearted devotion to God. The group of Dadu's followers are known as the Dadu Panth, and refrain from alcohol and uphold vegetarianism. Sant Dadu Dayal did not leave any written records, but 5,000 of his verses or oral teachings were recorded by his disciple Raja and are known as the Dadu Anubhav Varni, composed in the local Braj Bhasa language, a mixture of Hindi and Rajasthani. Dadu, the Compassionate Mystic, is an English translation collection of Dadu Dayal's poems by Dr. Kashi Nath Upadhyay. Today, we are going to share with you some of the enlightening verses selected from this collection. Life without Guru is Wasted Human life is wasted if a perfect guide who can join the broken link and take one to the other shore is not found, and if works pleasing to God are not done. Forsaking God and running after the pleasures of the world is like throwing aside priceless diamonds and picking up useless stones. If such a one who can mend the broken connection and take one across to the other shore is not found. The opportunity is lost again, says Dadu. This body is a raft and the world is an ocean, deep and unfathomable. How can anyone cross it and go to the other shore without the sailor, asks Dadu. I have done nothing that could please God. My coming to this world has been in vain, O oh, Dadu. With what face should one laugh and talk? One is departing, having spent one's priceless life in vain. One should cry, says Dadu. The holy feet of the Lord, the very purpose for which one is to live in this world, are not within one's heart. Fie on such a life without devotion to God in this iron age, O oh, Dadu. You did what was pleasing to your mind, and transgressed the commandment of the Lord. How will you show your face to that beloved? asks Dadu. You did all to please the senses, and provided all that the mind demanded. But nothing of that for which you were created was done by you, O oh, Dadu. You were provided with equipment for rendering service to the Lord. But you have forgotten obedience to the Lord, and not a single work have you accomplished, says Dadu. Ah, you have forgotten God, the Lord of the universe. Though seeing, you have lost the diamond and have picked up the stones. You mistake glass for gold. You are indeed caught in the snare of delusion. Not having had a moment's awareness of truth, you place hope in falsity. That which is poison is mistaken by you for nectar. It does not accompany you. You are puffed up, seeing the flowers look cotton. You have thus missed your chance this time. 
Listen to true words, O mind. Be devoted to God, and you shall develop awareness automatically. Do your work even now, says Dadu. Time is running out and life is waning. The Lord is within us, Kingdom of God. Just as oil is in the oil seed, fragrance is in the flower, fire is in wood, and an image is in the mirror, so is the Lord within every human being. The Supreme Creator, after having created each of us as a veritable temple, has taken abode in the very heart of this temple. The entire creation of God, comprising many regions of indescribable splendor, is contained within us. With the grace and guidance of a perfect living Master, we can see it all within ourselves and realize the secret of how the macrocosm is contained within the microcosm. Where is the one who has created me? asked the disciple. Show him to me, O Master. The Lord is within the heart of the self, answers the Master. Fix your mind there, says Dadu. My Lord is within me. Show him then by removing the veil. Let the self meet the Supreme Lord face to face. Water is contained in the inner lake. The thirsty one comes to drink of it. Don't blame the master. He is not to gift. From house to house, telling people, says Dadu. Within the body is found the eternal and the unsupported. Such a mighty one, the quintessence of all. Itself reveals itself. Just as a face is seen in the mirror and a reflection in the water, so is God seeing in the self. He keeps company with all, says Dadu. Just as oil is in oil seeds, fragrance in flowers, so is God in the self. Just as life dwells in the veins, light in the sun, and coolness in the moon, so does God dwell in the self. The one who has made this temple of our hearts he alone dwells in this temple. None else but our beloved is in our hearts. With you is your friend. Let yourself recognize him. Look not at a distance. Know him as your reflection, O oh, Dadu. God is within all beings. He accompanies all and is close by. Musk is in the musk deer, and yet it goes around smelling grass. The self knows not God, although God is with the self. Being deaf to the holy sound of the Master, sadly does he wonder. He for whom you search in the world dwells within you. You know him not because the veil of mine and thine is there. He dwells within all beings, yet rarely does anyone know him. He alone, who is a devotee of God, will know him. Search for the Lord within yourself, O friend. The Guru has shown the imperceptible one. So is the essential truth found by churning the mind. Just as fire permeates wood, so does the blameless Lord reside in the mind. Just as water penetrates the earth, so does, O wise one, the true Lord pervade the mind. Just as the mirror is not affected by moss, so does the form within remain untarnished. Gaze intently, and that will become visible. Those who churn the mind easily found the essential truth. Unto them the Lord revealed himself, says Dadu. A true master unites us with God and shows all within the body. Within the body is the Creator, and within the body is Onkar. 
The sky is within the body, and close by is the earth within the body. Air and light are within the body. So is water contained within the body. Within the body are the sun and the moon, and the tour is played within the body. Within the body are the three gods, and so is the imperceptible and indistinguishable within the body. Within the body are the four Vedas, and wisdom is obtained within the body. The four kinds of life are within the body, and so are the four sounds within the body. Within the body does one come to be born, and within the body one dies again and again. Birth and death are within the body, and one goes round the eight four within the body. Divine incarnations take place within the body, and they happen again and again within the body. Day and night are within the body, rising and setting continually go on within the body. Dadu has found the highest Guru, who has revealed the true oneness. All cosmic abodes were shown to me within the body, proclaims Dadu. None can see them without dedication to Guru through thought, word, and deed. The body is the storehouse of celestial centers. Wondrous plays are going on within. Let no one make a mistake. Take the company of the Satguru, says Dadu. The Creator is within the body, that treasure you know not. Find the true lover of the Guru, and all will be found within the body. Having dwelt within the body, one pervades eternity. Having been shown by the perfect Master, Dadu has found his true home. Within the body, cultivate gladness, and within it develop affection. Within the body, Find the nectar of love. This is what a true lover of the Guru does, says Dadu. Auspiciousness is within the body. That I have seen by entering within, says Dadu. Through a true lover of the Guru, it is found. Thus do saints explain. Inaccessible and unfathomable is the body, and within is the bagpipe played. The Beloved is found face to face, and the true lover of the Guru merges into him, says Dadu. For more details, please download the ebook of Dadu, Vegetarian, The Compassionate Mystic at archive.org forward slash details forward slash Dadu Dayal, The Compassionate Mystic. Delightful viewers, thank you for your company on today's Words of Wisdom. 